October, the month ruled by horror. Ooh. It's when all the best horror games come out, like. <coughs> but whatever, Amnesia came out the other day, and with it, I've noticed a trend that needs addressing. Stop taking away combat in horror games. Now, I get it, I get it. Whenever Silent Hill Shattered Memories announced that it was gonna strip the game of combat, I said, Wow, what a great way to make a game more tense and scary. But what we got instead was running man and this stuff yeah. it never really got the tension across because whenever the enemies got close the whole world turned into some kind of wet dream for a, a, a wampa and then you'd be all oh no looks like it's time to be scared oh no so it really kind of took the surprise out of it but when amnesia came out they said they were going to do the same damn thing and i said wow what a great way to make the game more tense and scary it was magical the monsters were like Wah! and the atmosphere was like oh no and the general scariness was brought to a game levels but now everyone just has to do things the way amnesia did because it was so scary the problem with this though is that you sacrifice a lot of gameplay whenever you take combat out of the whole equation. Now I've said it before and here's my definition of gameplay again for all you weirdo non-fans. Gameplay noun. The way the player overcomes the obstacles presented in the game. But the bad part is, is whenever you take away the combat, you're severely limiting the obstacles that you can present to the player. The original Amnesia had you managing health, lamp fluid, stealth, matches, darkness in the levels, monster placement, and sanity. Now, Machine for Pigs has you just worried about... Occasional pigs. Hey, that's not so bad! And let me tell you, whenever you're making a horror game, you never want the player to say, Hey, that's not so bad. The act of doing that is bad, and then your game will be bad. And that's... Bad. Outlast comes dangerously close to doing this as well, only it has you managing batteries for your camera. Now, the word managing is cuddled right next to quotes there because I never really got close to running out of batteries. Outlast really doesn't give you any real reason why you can't fight the people in Mount Massive Asylum either. Sure, there's this guy on a pole that says, You can't fight them. You have to hide. Well, I mean, your character doesn't know that when he's going in there, so why doesn't he pack like a, a taser, or a wrench, or a chainsaw? I know that combat in horror games isn't really at like Tekken levels of awesome here, but it's not supposed to be. Let's take a look at Silent Hill 2. Oh, what? You wanted to talk about a scary games on the internet and not talk about Silent Hill 2? Amateurs. The combat wasn't bad and it served its purpose. I mean, you pushed the lock on button and then you just mashed away on the square button until that thing is smacked back into Satan's anus. I mean, it wasn't anything special, but it got the job done. Now, I've heard some people say that the combat in Silent Hill 2 is intentionally bad because it's a normal person fighting, but I don't really think that's the case. I mean, the combat was pretty much the same in Resident Evil and those were supposed to be highly trained special officers or whatever. Which is why they have an 18 year old girl on their team! Resource managing in games like Resident Evil even add more scariness on top of it because you basically become your own worst enemy. Use up too many bullets fighting stupid zombie things? Too bad, you should have saved him for that snake thing! Oh, you didn't know about him? Should have gotten the tips and tricks. It's like the developers just check combat off the list and then was all, what's Kiri Yamaoku up to? Probably something with chorus guitars. Now yes, taking away combat does make the game more tense, but with regenerating health, which Outlast and Machine for Pigs both have, all encounters are artificially scary, meaning that they're mostly frightening because you've been conditioned to think that way. AKA scary noise, dark room, no no. So you get beat up, die, and then respawn to your last checkpoint? Now I understand that whenever you die it breaks immersion or whatever because you have to go back to like a load screen, but there needs to be a better way to handle all this. Oh what, I don't have any ideas. Just write them down in the comments or something. So there you go. The whole damn point is is that you should give the player more responsibilities. Managing things is scary, and that's the point. Now I'm just gonna go play some Grand Theft Auto Online. <laughs>